got so, we got some fan mail from Gavin Murray or Instant Happy. Are you supposed to say his full name? Up? I don't care. So we're gonna do this before we go into our story. I'm afraid it's gonna jump out at me. <laughs> Very clever, sir. One American dollar that I will frame and a fan drawing. This is Deadpool, signed at the bottom. 11 out of 3. So if I throw this out, you're gonna kill me? You feel horrible paying me to do stupid stuff? Why? I don't feel horrible. I like doing it. Thank you for the nice George Washington and drawing of Deadpool. Now we'll be on to the story. Today, we were going to Enchanted Forest Water Safari. Right? And remember, last time my car wouldn't start. It was just sitting there like a pile of poop. Wouldn't start, and we had to jump it after two, two hours or so sitting there at the park. That was an experience, but now today, we went to Water Safari. Tried to go to Water Safari, and um, what happened is, driving down the highway, half an hour away, from the park and we hear this bang. Like we hit something in the road and I'm like, great, my tire popped. So the tire indicator comes on on the dashboard and I'm thinking, oh, my tire popped, my tire popped, great. And I pulled over to the side of the road and sure enough, the tire popped and it starts deflating, deflating, and we're stuck on the side of the highway and we don't know what to do. So, us being smart, we called my dad and he said there's a spare in your trunk along with a jack. So, we take out the tire, take out the jack, and my dad begins to explain how to use a jack because we have no clue. We're 18, 17 year olds, we got, we got no idea how to use a jack. So we begin jacking the car up in the designated area he said to, right behind the tire, and, um, and we're doing good and then when we begin jacking the car up and then I see the jack start to slip and I say Jordan back up It's slipping and then it slips and drops the car apparently because I put it in gravel It was a little bit in the gravel a little bit on the road So it wasn't steady so we do it again and you want to know what happens that time we jack it all the way up the tire is off the ground I hit it one more time and uh, the car just falls my hand is under there and my hand my wrist area gets uh, Pinned between the car and the jack and I'm freaking out. I'm like um, I didn't, I didn't even say anything did I I was like ow 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 yes I kept saying ow so I just ripped my hand out I didn't even do anything boy I didn't even try to help me I didn't know what to do he didn't know what to do so I just yank my arm out completely they just yank it out and I start like screaming like ah oh yeah there was a police officer that came behind us he got our ID my ID and checked everything and was going back to check what was in the road and that's when it happened and then um, as he went back to check what was in the road it happened I was screaming rolling around on the hill and um, I was laying on the hill holding my arm yelling and the cop pulls back up and says what's wrong and I said I just dropped the car on my arm just yanked it out and he's like do you need an ambulance and I said no I'll be alright as I'm just laying on the ground and um, long story short I could have lost my hand if it had been in there a little bit longer there. it could have turned out bad if I hadn't yanked my arm out when I did and uh, AAA showed up three hours later the rudest guy you know he um, he came out of car and said thanks for answering your calls or something something like that and I'm like there's no service sir so how in the world am I supposed to answer my phone and then he didn't speak a word to us he just fixed the car and left so we got stranded at 1040 in the morning and we got home at 430 so that is six hours six hours six hours to resolve the issue which was not fun and my hand is bandaged up just like this now and I'm lucky I didn't lose my hand Thank you to Instant Happy for sending fan mail. I will do some fan mail unboxings if you guys choose to send anything. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna be like this for a little while. Ow, that was really hard. Thank you all, you know, for watching. <laughs>